Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. And today we are going to take a look in on the DIY bin. Now, last time we did not feed them because they had quite a bit of their food left over. So what we're going to do is have a look at it and see what they need today. Last time we looked in on this bin was December 18th and they had a lot of leftover foods. We put the slow foods in the bottom and uh, it's basically still pretty new bedding so we didn't add any new bedding. So let's just take a look and see what we've got. So not really a worm ball but they were still hanging out in that avocado shell. I'm going to collect these things up and put these really slow things all the way in the bottom. Uh, if you have bins that you have really slow items that take six or eight months to do, let me know. What do you do with them? Do you just leave them sit in the bin or do you take them out and do something with them? Up until now, I've just been leaving them. I'm going to kind of try and incorporate everything. Generally, I don't feed the lower layers because all the drippings end up down in the bottom anyway. So anytime that there's food that, you know, is very wet or something, generally, um, it kind of, as it degrades, it kind of all drips down into the bottom layer. So I generally don't feed them for that reason. I don't want to take a chance of it being, you know, um, getting anaerobic with all those uh, juices causing some sort of a bacteria or fungal bloom down there and hurt the worms. So yeah, still they look like they're really starting to make good castings already. Ooh, hey, hey, look at that. Good worms. Got a worm ball and they didn't even get fed last time. So this is a mix of the red wigglers, the blue worms, and the European night crawlers. And uh, there's probably about two, two and a half pounds in this system. We had kind of left them uh, without a whole bunch of worms for a while while I was trying to harvest their previous castings. So that was kind of a, a pro <laughs> problem for a while. They didn't have a lot of roommates. So I'm just going to collect up those big pieces and put them in the bottom. Cue the furnace. So still seeing a lot of uh, springtails. I'm not sure how well you can see that on the camera, but they look enough like fleas that they creep me out. There are also some of the uh, mites. Looks like there's a yeah, tiny bit of pumpkin that they all must have been hanging out in. That's good. All right. This layer is definitely making progress since the last time we looked in on it. All right, so let's move this layer and look at the second layer down. All right, so this layer also is got some springtails in it, but it's a really good moisture, especially for this time of year. So these guys are living the life down here. Nice and comfortable. Seems like there's, even though there was a worm ball up at the upper layer, it does look like there's more worms down here. Probably due to the really nice even moisture conditions. So yeah, there's that mango again and some corn. Alright, so let's look at the bottom layer. All right. Now this was originally started as a three layer system with this bottom layer. The idea was for it to be a sump for all the liquids to drain into. But even though the holes are only a sixteenth of an inch um, down to this level, I still kept finding worms down here. So I finally was like, okay guys, if you want to live down here, that's fine. But I'm going to start putting bedding down here to make sure that all the liquid gets absorbed. So that's what I've done. And this layer seems to do just fine. So let me pile up the, the slow food from the upper levels and put that in here. 
that way it never wants for moisture and it can hopefully degrade a little bit faster than it would have if it was in the upper le level. So still a lot of worms down here. Like I said, it's I don't usually put worms down here. They just come down here on their own. Have to wonder if the little tiny worms come down here and then grow up. So occasionally I will take a worm ball that I see down here and move it to an upper level just so that maybe the baby worms can have their own apartment. Let me put the middle layer back up. Okay, so this time we are going to feed them and just feed down the middle. They've got enough bedding for right now. Okay, so they are going to get some grapes. Cover that back up and put the top layer back on. And then this top layer is also going to get some food, but we should probably feed it one end so that the drippings don't all end up in the same place. Okay, looks like onions and shallots, maybe asparagus, I'm not sure. So donation from CC. Okay, and then we can cover them up again. Really, really good because half rotten onions do not smell good. All right, this DIY bin does have its own playlist. If you want to see the progression of this over time, I can put a link to the playlist down here. And if you just want to see what happened last time, I can put a link to that last video as well. If you like this video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.